everyone welcome back to the crazy dreamer network my name is aj and let's hop right into today's reading so today's reading is going to be a pick a card about your love life and your career what's coming in next for your love life and your career okay again my dreamy dreamers all of my readings are timeless so whenever you see this this message should apply for you all right so let's hop into the pile selection we have pile number one pile number two pile number three and pile number four we have pile number one here with the tiger's eye heart crystal we have pile number two here with the clear quartz tower we have pile number three here with this really beautiful double pointed labradorite crystal try to get that labradorite glare for you guys yeah there we go all right, and then we have pile number four with this strawberry quartz crystal, okay? So again, my dreamy dreamers, pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, and pile number four. I love you all so very much, and I'll see you in your readings. Bye. Hey, pile number ones, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this really beautiful tiger's eye heart crystal, okay? So what I'm getting in regards to your love and career is that it's very protected, okay, by God, spirit, source, energy, your spiritual team, okay? And um, I feel like you love what you do, all right? You, you're really in love with what you do and it gives you ample energy to continue to do it even when times kind of, you know, even with when the times come when you feel like, ah, I don't know, you're kind of dreading it, you know? I'm getting the euphemism, like you, you reframing um, how you look at what you do so let's say just one day you're just not up to doing anything and instead of saying oh i have to do this you reframe it as i get to do this okay and in regards to your love life i i don't know why i'm having a feeling and i'm pretty sure this might even happen this might be a theme throughout the uh the pile selections but in your case in particular, I'm getting that your love life could be wrapped into your work situation or your career, okay? So let's put this right here. Let's uncover your card. Whoa, oh my goodness. So we have card number 31 and we have why, okay? So what I'm getting in regards to this um, particular message, this why card is, I feel like you're questioning everything and it's so interesting, right? It's so interesting. I'm bringing up this story because I feel like it's very pertinent to your pile. Um, so I'm filming this at night. I usually film in the a.m. or at least earlier in the day so I could kind of like get, you know, the readings out of the way. And I was watching a YouTube video and it was basically talking about like, basically like your seat on your throne is like protected. Like... So it was basically saying like God, spirit, source, energy, whatever entity or higher being that you, um, you know, that you may regard or that you may believe in, that could be karma, anything, right? But it's basically secured your place, okay? You don't have to worry. Just stay in constant prayer, meaning like the wish has already been fulfilled, the ask has already been granted, and you're going to be okay, so there was this, I know I'm kind of jumping all over the place, excuse me, but I, I watched the live. It was actually like a live of someone's on Instagram and they reposted it to YouTube. So I watched that live and what they were saying reminded me of this saying by this really prolific uh, African-American um, like literature, African-American author, poet, uh, from like the 60s their name was James Baldwin and James Baldwin has this quote or he's quoted telling Maya Angelou that your crown has already been bought and paid for wear it basically like everything that you're wanting everything that you're desiring everything that you're asking God for your angels your spiritual team for it's already into being just be that you know what I'm saying? Just be in the presence of it and, and act from it, right? So what I'm getting is that like 
You're also being very childlike with how you communicate with God in regards to your love life and your finances. This could be with your angel spiritual team, uh, whatever higher, your higher self, whatever higher beings that you believe in, but you're, you're being very childlike. You're being very innocent when it comes to how you're communicating with them. And you're really asking why, like you're asking questions. You want to know, um, the answers to them in this very like innocent way. Right. And what I'm also getting, oh, you know what's funny? Jeez, I just noticed this is like, this book is an angel <laughs> or it has angel wings, right? So I'm also getting that you are really trusting yourself right now to understand why you want certain things the way you want them, right? Because I'm getting uh, pile number ones that Things could be very like, not difficult for you, but things could be very like, maybe you're just getting bored or you're feeling a little complacent in regards to your love life. That's what I'm getting from this top row because this top row is gonna be your love reading and then this bottom row is gonna be your uh, career reading. But what's interesting is I'm getting that, especially from the bottom of the deck, where we have the six of cups and pleasure in reverse, it's almost like you're holding off from instant gratification. You're holding off from instant gratification or anything that could kind of like, I don't know, like make it seem like you're gonna get this sooner than later. I feel like you're really trusting in yourself and trusting in God's kind of like promise to you that whatever it is that you're looking for, whatever it is that you've been asking for is going to be fulfilled if it hasn't already, okay? So let's hop into your reading. Uh, so since the top row is your love reading, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot, the Five of Wands, the Magician, and the Five of Swords. You wanna know something that's really interesting, pile number one? What did I say earlier? Uh, reading for the crystal alone i have a feeling that your pile in particular and i'm just noticing this now which is interesting um your pile was going to be tied into your love life was going to be tied into your career we have the queen of pentacles and the king of pentacles okay literally right underneath one another or right on top of one another however you'd like to see that right so i think that's very interesting because you could be meeting your divine counterpart at work or in some way, shape, or form. Whatever you're doing career-wise, you could be meeting that person, okay? But I'm going to read the top row. So again, we have the Queen of Pentacles, we have the Chariot, we have the Five of Wands, the Magician, and then we have the Five of Swords with Defeat, okay? So what I'm getting is that like... I feel like you are very focused on your pentacle right now, right? You're very focused on your pentacle. You're very focused on your coin. You also could be a, a earth sign, um, excuse me, Capricorn, Virgo, or a Taurus. Um, I'm getting a lot of Capricorn energy with this queen of pentacles. But in regards to your love life, I have a feeling there's going to be a victory here or there could even be a Cancerian person coming in for you, okay? Because we do have the chariot card here, right? So it's interesting because we have the five of wands with strife. We have the magician and we have the five of swords. It's interesting because if there is a Cancerian person coming in for you, I have a feeling that there could have been a lot of internal or external conflict, whether or not you wanted this person to come in. This could be an ex. This could be someone from the past, okay? Take it if it resonates. If it doesn't, definitely leave it, uh, my loves. You do not have to take whatever does not resonate with you. And I would suggest that for any readings, okay? If it doesn't fit, don't force it. So we do have one, we have two major arcanas in this top row. And I just feel like someone feels defeated. They're maybe trying to manifest you or you're trying to manifest them, okay? But it's interesting because I have a feeling that you're moving forward and you're, you're encountering a lot of abundance and a lot of prosperity right now. We literally have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles right on top of one another. And then we have the Three of Pentacles next to the King of Pentacles with abundance. It literally, this card literally says abundance, okay? And then it's on top, it's uh, underneath the Chariot, which is in itself a victory card, okay? So I have a feeling... 
you know what's interesting i was gonna read these rows separate but it's telling a story pile number ones okay so again i have a feeling you're moving forward in your life regardless i have a feeling like you know you've become this very integrated soul in regards to what it is that you expect from others you've already made it happen within yourself okay particularly particularly financially okay and you're continuing to make it happen you're just growing more and more and more stable financially secure financially free pile number ones which is beautiful okay in the center center of the reading we have the five of wands strife with the princess of swords i'm getting a feeling someone is keeping their eye on you and it's difficult for them i have a feeling they're in they were wanting to contact with you one minute and then the next minute they're like no i'm not you know but they're still having a watchful eye on you okay they could be watching your social media accounts they could be um you know shoot driving past your house or your apartment or something like that but what i'm getting is that you're their manifestation you're their manifestation whoever this is okay we have card number one and card number three right on top of each other we have the magician and the empress okay so in regards to love and excuse me pile number ones for hopping around but i'm kind of just saying the messages as i'm getting them and they're kind of coming in a little choppy right now but the magician and the empress it's almost like this person is waiting for you but you're Look, and it's so interesting because look, both of these people are looking in a different, like in the same direction. This magician is looking at this empress and this empress is looking away, but it's almost like they're looking at something, like they're hearing something happening in the background that's making them turn and look at what's going on in the background. That's really interesting, huh? So anyhow, with the Five of Swords defeat and with the Five of Cups in reverse disappointment, I have a feeling, I have a feeling in regards to your love life and your career that this defeat and disappointment is ending. There's definitely, look, in the beginning of your reading, we have a major triumph, right? In the middle of your reading, and I'm going to just use these four cards in the middle of your reading we have um a confliction kind of like watching keeping a watchful eye but then also like being distracted i have a feeling like both people are distracted with something else right huh and then at the end of the reading we literally have defeat and disappointment in reverse and pleasure in reverse Hmm. Let's pull some, I want to pull some clarifiers, pile number ones. Let's pull some clarifiers on what's going on. Look, and we have five, five, five. We literally have five, five, five in this reading, and I'm getting major changes, major changes. Major changes. Let's see. Why is this five of swords here, spirit? Please clarify this five of swords. The moon, a more cancer energy tell me more spirit why is this five of swords here clarify this five of swords spirit for our pile number ones thank you look we have the ten of pentacles in reverse okay so tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our, this five of swords we have the seven of cups in reverse so we have the moon upright we have the ten of pentacles in reverse and then we have the seven of pentacles I mean, the Seven of Cups, excuse me, in reverse. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, the Two of Wands. So it's almost like someone's on the right path, but someone's thinking defeatist, defeatist, is it defeatist thoughts about like a legacy or maybe like abundance and realizing maybe that person didn't have as many options as they thought they were going to. Okay, so if this is in regards to an ex that I was kind of talking about earlier, pile number ones, then yeah, someone's feeling really defeated. And you know what's so funny? Oh my goodness. 
So look at this five of swords. Look, the masculine energy is on the ground, like just literally defeated and look at who it's defeated by a feminine energy. So if you are a feminine and this is about an ex, this ex really feels defeated by you for some odd reason, right? And if you're a masculine and this is about a feminine, this feminine feels defeated by you for some particular reason, right? Because this is only two people and one person is like sprawled out on the ground and the other one's like claiming victory, right? <clears throat> okay, please clarify this five of cups in reverse with disappointment spirit. And I have a feeling, yeah, you're not disappointed. Like whoever is watching this reading, pile number one, you all aren't disappointed. You know why? Because I, I'm getting um, you... What is it called? Something about your losses. Like you you just took your losses and you packed up and went. It was almost like a mindset thing. Like if this was in the upright position, okay, I would have said like, okay, maybe you could be feeling a little sad or disappointed this didn't work out, but you are right where you need to be. That was what that two of wands was trying to say. You're on path. You're right where you need to be, especially when it comes to your abundance and the alignment of that, right? So let's pull some more cards. Ooh. Okay, thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing and cleansing this deck. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing and cleansing this deck. Tell me more. Clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to our pile number ones. Tell us more about their love life and their career. What's coming in for pile number ones in regards to their love life and their career, Spirit? Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to pile number ones, love life, and career. Look. Oh, my goodness. So we have card number zero, new beginnings. You could be traveling the world soon, or you could just be having a new completely new beginning in love and in your career simultaneously pile number ones all right look we have the moon again this uh card card number 18 shadow represents the moon card in this deck so we have the moon in reverse or shadow in reverse okay more cancer energy or pisces energy it's funny because uh the day that i'm recording this it's a waxing gibbous moon and it's in the sign of cancer so i thought that was pretty funny tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages in regards to pile number one's love life and career look okay card number two sacral chakra one more card spirit tell me okay wow look okay we have card number six victory and success all right so look bottom of the deck <laughs> so this is technically the four of cups in this deck so it says card number four discontent and boredom wow pile number ones okay so with this card being at the bottom of the deck the four of cups in the traditional rider weight tarot can represent cancerian energy too a lot of cancer energy okay so there could be a lot of moodiness in the air when i'm filming this because i am filming this under a cancer moon and for those of you who are well versed in astrology and even if you aren't um i think it's cancer and libra it's either cancer and libra or cancer and taurus maybe even pisces but for sure cancer that's like the moon's natural habitat like when the moon is in the sign of cancer it's like in its element okay so you all could be feeling maybe a little moody or maybe a little emotional or you know to be honest even a little bit of heightened insecurities could be popping up right now because think about like you know whatever cancers embody personality characteristic wise think about that and if you're feeling that way that could be the reason okay so again like i said there's a lot of new beginnings happening in your love life and career and it seems simultaneously this could be like a message that like you're about to take the world by storm or you're about to travel somewhere it doesn't even have to be overseas per se you could be traveling overseas or you could be traveling the world but you could just be traveling like somewhere that you haven't been before period right with uh card number 18 shadows in reverse i have a feeling a lot is about to start coming 
in for you, right? This could be downloads, this could be signs, synchronicities. A lot is about to be exposed, okay? So we have card number two, sacral chakra. I have a feeling you're gonna be very passionate about this new beginning, about your new life, okay? And it's whatever is coming out of the woodwork that's being exposed, you're gonna be very happy, you're gonna be very passionate about it. You could find yourself dancing a lot or working out a lot or working out your lower, kind of like your lower body a lot, you know? And come on, my lovely dreamy dreamers <laughs> with card number six, victory and success. Like It's like whatever you're touching right now is bound to be successful, is bound to turn into gold. Like It's like, you know, God, God, spirit, source, energy, your angels, ancestors, and guides are blowing that trumpet for you to let you know you've done it, you've made it, like triumph and victory is yours, okay? So in regards to your love life and in regards to your career, you genuinely don't have much to worry about okay it could just be this heightened emotional period that the moon and cancer is evoking in this reading or you could be dealing with the cancer okay cancerian person that's coming into your life or that's in your life already okay so let's begin tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages okay look we have the eight of wands okay tell me more clear concise accurate messages for our pile number ones in regards to their love life and career what's coming in for them well in regards to their love life and career <laughs> we have the ace of wands interesting tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages <laughs> the ace of swords wow Tell me more, Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones in regards to our love life and career. One more card, Spirit. One more card. Thank you. Okay, we got two more cards. Look, all wands. What in the heck is going on, pile number ones? We have the three of wands, okay? Oh, wow. We have the magician again. Okay, you all could be seeing one, one, one a lot. We literally have three number one cards. And then we have the ten of swords in reverse. Okay, this is beautiful. So let me just line these up so I could tell you all what's going down. We have the five of wands at the bottom of the deck. I mean, in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So like conflict is lifting. I feel like you're going to be feeling very invigorated, very spirited soon. And like everything that you're wanting is coming into fruition. Literally, your dreams are manifesting at a heightened rate, pile number ones. You could be seeing 111 a lot or 1111. You are pile number one. So I wouldn't be shocked if you're seeing, you know, 111 or 1111 a lot. Okay, we literally have one, 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 and then even this ten of swords. If you just you know add up the numerology, one plus zero, that's one again. So eleven, eleven. Literally, there's another one with this um with this freaking magician card right here. So that's five ones. Like everything that you're thinking right now is manifesting at rapid speeds pile number one especially in reg like literally like movement like you're embodying rap rampant movement right now okay you're expanding everything that you're thinking is literally manifesting before your eyes so be very diligent and guard the gates of your thoughts because everything that you're thinking is occurring okay that's literally what i'm getting everything that you're thinking is occurring right now hold on that was here and this was there yeah and like burdens are being lifted like burdens are being lifted and 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 like almost like how do you say that like wiped away from you okay with this ten of swords in reverse like yeah i'm getting like the coast is clear or something so i'm gonna pull a moonology I'm gonna use the Moonology deck to pull some more cards. Tell me more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number ones. What else do you want them to know in regards to their um, their love life and their careers? But again, pile number one. Sorry if I kind of dismissed this, but 
I don't think I did, but I want to reiterate it for you all. You are you all are building systemic wealth. You all are building financial freedom. I can't stress that enough. It's coming into your, your reading, like heightened, okay? That's why I'm saying whatever you're thinking about is like rapidly manifesting. So think only beautiful, just, pure, abundant thoughts because I promise you, that's what's gonna come in for you. <laughs> look at this. I'm not even done, but look, you and your loved ones are safe, new moon and cancer. Gorgeous energy. Okay, tell me more, spirit. What else does Paul number one need to know about their love life and career? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Step out of your comfort zone, north node. Look, you're on the right path. You're on the right path because you're following your north node. And that I feel like that's even advice in regards to your career. Whatever your north node is, Follow that, become that, and uh, embody that, those personality characteristics of your North Node sign. Pile number ones, if you don't know your North Node sign, I would get about the business of knowing that. Go look up like a natal chart calendar or something like that online. I know Cafe Astrology has a really good one, and oof, there's this app. Dang, I forgot what it's called. It's an app on iTunes that has, uh, it's called some CoStar. Yeah, I think it's called CoStar. Check out your North Node and like get familiar with it because you need to start embodying your North Node energy if you haven't already. But for those of you who are embodying North Node energy, you're right on the money. You're right on target. Tell me more, Spirit. What's coming in for our pile number ones in regards to their love life and... Career. So we have communication is key, new moon in Gemini. Tell me more. Clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to pile number one's love life and career. Huh. We have be, be bold and make the first move, cardinal moon, and nothing will come of this situation. Okay, what's at the bottom of the deck? Wow. We have prosperity lies ahead with the new moon in Taurus. So check this out, pile number ones. We have, okay, we only have one new moon card but this is also new and it's so funny because we're asking about your love life and your career we have career right here and i'm getting love life energy from this because i'm getting communication is key of course communication is very much so important in regards to not just your love life but you know your career status or where you seek taking your career but what i'm getting for this particular card and this particular um spread is that communication is going to be very pivotal when it comes to asking god what you want i mean clarifying with god excuse me clarifying with god spare your source energy your source excuse me clarifying with god source energy your higher self about what it is that you want this could be in a partner this could be in a relationship and being very clear on those things right because the more clarity we have about a, a thing the easier we could go about getting it right the easier we could go about receiving it so be bold and make the fir first move i'm almost certain that the sign cancer is a cardinal sign a lot of cancerian energy a lot of you all could be cancers watching this reading or maybe the person in question coming in for you um this new start could be a cancer or even if this is like a person from the past an ex somebody that could be a cancer you could have cancer highly aspected in your chart but i'm getting be bold and make the first move this could just be in regards to being very clear on what you want the ask right there's a book called Ask If It's Given by Esther and Jerry Hicks, which is like Abraham. And it talks about when you ask God, the universe, source energy for something, it's basically you're already starting the process of the manifestation process, right? So just ask. That's making the first move, right? Okay, and nothing will come of this void of course moon. So I'm getting whatever it is you're fearing, if you have any thoughts doubts fears or insecurities or indecisions nothing will come of it as long as you keep your thoughts pure as long as you keep your eyes on the prize pile number ones okay so this was a really beautiful reading i'm really grateful that i got to do this with you all you're very abundant okay everything you want is basically taking form 
just fair, be very diligent about guarding the gates of your thoughts and your mind, okay? Because the mind's tricky, right? Okay, so look, this card came out, I am humble. Let's see, tell me more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to our pile number one's last messages you would like them to know in regards to their love life and career. What would you want them to know? Any advice for their love life and career spirit? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull these like this because nothing wants to come out. <clears throat> we have I speak with good intent, yeah. Speak with only good intent, only the good things, pal number one, so you will get them. It's assured, okay? Tell me more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pal number one in regards to their love life and career. I feel like these two want to come out, so I'm going to take them. Look, we have I am trustful in my relationships, okay? So it's almost like, look, I got this last reading. A telepathic communication is going on. Hmm. And I keep the waters pure. What did I say? Only think of things that are lovely, that are just, that are pure, Okay, dwell on those things. That's a Bible quote. I'm paraphrasing because that's not the whole thing, but only dwell on the things that you want to happen, pile number ones, and they will. I have a feeling you could be like telepathically communicating with a love interest or with somebody, okay? Someone's trying to connect to you through your dreams, through your dream state, maybe astral projection. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. I can be trusted. Whoever this is, maybe they can be trusted, okay? I don't know why I said maybe. Obviously, they can be trusted. I am trustful in my relationships, and I can be trusted. So maybe it's you who can be trusted, okay? I feel like this other person can be trusted, too, because you, you all are linked. You all are on the same wavelength. That's what I'm getting as well, okay? So beautiful, beautiful reading, my dreamy dreamers. I love you all so very much, okay? If you like this reading, if it resonated with you, please give this reading a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers, and I'll see you all in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number twos, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this really pretty crystal clear tower. And literally what I'm getting for what's coming in for your love life and your career is it's as crystal clear and as bright as this crystal, okay? This is something you could have been manifesting for a very long time and it's all coming together. It's all coming into fruition. You all could have been drawn to pile number ones as well or becoming from pile number ones because you felt drawn to both of these stones and what i'm getting is that um this is like could be a continuation from pile number one doesn't have to be but it could be okay and if you weren't drawn to pile number ones you just picked a uh, pile number two on your own this is definitely um I feel like you're very clear on what it is that you want and because you've been very clear because you have given your wants and desires to God, spirit, source, energy, your higher self, your angels, your spiritual team, you know, with clear conciseness, like everything is being given to you at this point. Okay. But let's uncover your card. Oh my goodness. So we have card number 15 message in a bottle. Okay. There's like this bird here and it's literally a telephone in this bottle. There could be very exciting news coming towards you pile number ones in regards to your love life and your career this could be uh you've gotten the job okay or the love of your life is going to be contacting you okay it doesn't even have to be via phone this could be through social media or anything like that but they're going to be wanting to communicate with you very soon i'm also getting since this is message in a bottle and this uh kind of like communication 
you know, the phone and it's in a bottle is in the sea. You could be traveling overseas to like, you know, and meet the love of your life or, you know, really spark a connection or you could be traveling overseas for work or something along those lines. OK, so let's hop into your reading. We have the four of cups at the bottom of the deck. OK, it was in reverse. So the four of cups with luxury. Right. So I was getting ultimately what I get with this card when it's in the upright position position is that you could be having your hands full and to be honest that's a luxury right you have so many options available to you all at once certain things you have to turn down right so this is what I'm getting I feel like the availability for you and to you is about to become open again or you're going to be more open in regards to your love life your connections what you want to you know attract in in said love life and your connections and in regards to uh your finances and your career you're going to almost like you know how like like think about a vessel and think about if a vessel is filled to the brim you have to make room in that said vessel in order uh for more to fit into that container. That's what I'm getting in regards to like your love life and your finances, pile number twos, is that you're making room in your vessel, in you, so that the things that you've always wanted to happen and to manifest, it, it, it will be enough room for you to get, okay? It will be enough room for you to obtain, all right? So let's hop into your reading. We have the Hierophant. We have the Ten of Pentacles with Wealth. We have the Three of Pentacles with Works in Reverse. We have the Two of Swords with Peace. And we have the Six of Pentacles with Success. What a top row, pile number two. So at the bottom row, we have the Four of Swords with Truce. We have the Four of Wands with Completion. We have the Five of Swords with Defeat. We have the King of Wands and we have the Prince of Swords. So let's hop into the center of the reading with the Three of Pentacles works in reverse and then the Five of Swords defeat in reverse. So I'm getting maybe there's there's you've been going at something alone for a minute now pile number twos this could be like you maybe you've just been single for a while now or maybe you have been working by yourself okay just like a one man one woman one person show right and um i feel like now you're ready to like give that up Okay, you're ready to have some type of partnership or have some type of alliance come into play. Okay, so let's hop back into the center of your of the middle. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> the beginning of your reading with the Hierophant, and then we have the Four of Swords in reverse with Truce. Again, I'm getting like your work or your love life could be impacted by your spirituality. Okay, by your higher knowledge or something very like pertinent and very concrete that you want to attain. I have a feeling like, I don't know why I'm getting dogma, okay? Like just almost like blind faith, but I have a feeling uh, I'm using dogma in the term in a good way, right? Because that's the translation to dogma, it's like blind faith. So I'm getting, you have this blind faith in something and it, it centers you, right? But what I'm getting with the four of swords in reverse it's urging you to come out of like this, it's funny because this is the Hierophant, but like this hermit mode, almost like off of your throne to um, get into the world again, because I have a feeling you could have been kind of isolated, right? Uh, just you under the Bodai tree or something like that with your, your animal or something, or even like a spirit guide there, it was just you and the spirit guide, right? So with wealth, ten of pentacles, and completion, four of wands, stability is yours. All the riches of heaven and earth are yours. And I don't, it's funny that I say that because I've been seeing the number 808 a lot. And when I looked up that number, I have an angel numbers book. That's what it says. And I, I'm like, I literally got 808 when I saw these two cards, the 10 of pentacles and the four of wands, wealth and completion. And it's interesting because I feel like what's coming in for you, pile number twos, is you're going to build a legacy with someone. This could be the love of your life. This could be a soulmate connection. If you guys believe in twin flame connections, this could be that. I think twin, the term twin flames is a little unhealthy. I'm not even going to, you know... I don't know. I'm not even going to, you know, 
front on that or, you know, I have to be truthful when it comes to that, but I'm getting like some type of soul, <laughs> soulmate connection and someone's going to really be helping you in regards to building this this career or this uh, business or whatever it is that you're looking for another person to help with, they're going to be right, willing, and able to help you, okay? And you all are going to build for generations to come. I'm getting generational wealth with these two cards. I'm getting like literally God, spirit, source, energy is will be so glad that you two have come together and are put on earth for the same mission and you found each other and you're all both willing and able to facilitate the beauty that's about to unfold um in both of you all's life okay so with the two of swords peace and with the king of wands this could be a king of wands coming in, charging to like help you, okay? And like I said, it's interesting because I'm getting like you're the spiritual person and they're like the get it done person, right? Like this is you, okay? And then this is them. Like they're taking action while you're mindset oriented, right? You're God oriented, you're centered, right? And then look, we have the Six of Pentacles, success <laughs> with the Prince of Swords. Success is assured. Success is rushing in for you, pile number twos, in your love life and in your finances. Look at how that, uh, that young person is like literally, money is just falling from the sky. And she, they're just open to collecting it. That's so awesome. That's such a beautiful message, pile number twos. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit, for blessing pile number twos, for giving us clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to what's coming in for them for uh, in regards to their love life and their career. Spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to pile number twos love life and career thank you god thank you god thank you spirit clear concise accurate messages in regards to pile number two's love life and career <laughs> we have look we have card number nine spiritual strength yeah Ooh. god spirit source energy is highly protecting you right now like anything you're very spiritual too you're very spiritually endowed pile number that's what I was getting. You're very centered in God's spirit source energy, your spiritual team protecting you tenfold. Okay. Tell me more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number two's love life and career. Wow. Okay. Card number seven, patience and planning. Look, card number five, wisdom. Okay. One more. Uh, no, that's it. Okay, look, so we have at the bottom of the deck, card number six, Memories of Love. This is technically the Six of Cups in this deck. So mm, maybe there's some reminiscing about an old connection or a prior connection, maybe an ex or someone who's been in your life for a while, pile number twos. This could be someone reminiscing about you. You can already know this person or have been known this person for a very for a while now okay and maybe you miss them maybe you know you're sending memories of love to them or maybe they're sending memories of love to you okay so let's see we have the the card number one love begins so that's the ace of cups and as i pointed out in my prior readings this is an orange like sleeve and this is a yellow sleeve so i'm getting two people are coming together to pour this love into like this river so again there's a lover coming in to help you you're about you both are about to pour into each other okay we have patience in planning yeah you've been patiently planning for something like you're willing to be patient you're, you're not rushing into things i feel like both of you are willing to be patient with one another i feel i'm getting emotionally mature you have like an a very high emotional intelligence or an eq we have card number five wisdom this is a hierophant card again someone could be getting married someone could be wanting to propose to you the hierophant card uh traditionally in the right away tarot stands for like um like convention right so like um even uh what do you call 
like institutions so like marriage higher learning college banks things of that nature and what i'm getting is someone could be willing to like i mean you know wanting to propose to you or propose marriage to you or wanting to take you all's relationship to the next step okay or if this uh or and this could be in regards to your career as well um maybe you're learning more about like higher levels of like spirituality or you're trying to get like indoctrinated in some type of like spiritual practice or something where you can be a teacher a spiritual teacher or a guru or you know whatever you would call that okay tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number one, twos in regards to um what's coming in for them for their love life and career who thank you Look, we have the five of pentacles in reverse, and that was funny how that fell, so I'm going to take it. I have a feeling, you know what I'm getting? Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Uh, I was once lost, but now I'm found, was blind, and now I see with this. Because look, if you can see this depiction of this young person in the woods when it's snowing, they're lost. They don't know where to go, and they have their spiritual team or these little gnomes right here trying to show them the way, but they can't see they can't see those uh, those gnomes, okay? So I'm getting, you are now, you're found. Like, your spiritual team is protecting you. It's just, you've been awakened to pay attention in life. And now, um, you know, there's no more lack or insecurities or, I don't know, like, deplete, de depletion? Yeah, there's no more of that. You're, you're leaving lack mentality and into abundance. Tell me more, Spirit. Ooh. Okay, again, look, we have the Nine of Pentacles, okay? Very self-sufficient, very self-reliant, very abundant energy, okay? More Pentacles energy. It's like, look, <laughs> that's so funny. That said, uh, Amazing Grace was lost and now, I, or was blind and now I see. Look at this person. They're being able to see down yonder into whatever they're looking for, okay? We have the queen of wands. Some of you all could be fire sign. Look, we have the queen of wands and the king of wands. You could be meeting your match energetically, pile number twos. Some of you all could be fire signs, um, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or some of like a fire sign could be coming in for you, okay? But what I'm getting is that like you've learned, you've endured through trial and error. Okay, so now you're teaching others the way. Like, you don't have to have a hard life. That's what I get with this card. Like, this person is trying to teach this young person, like, you don't have to touch the fire in order to feel it. You could feel it from where you are. You don't have to learn the hard way. And that's what I'm getting that that's going to be like your career base is you almost like teaching people how to manifest or how to like do things like very easily or with as least how can i put this that would make sense like very like you don't have to have a hard life that's just what i'm getting so let's pull some more cards tell me more spirit clear concise after your messages for our pile number two in regards to their love life and career okay i'll take the, that one Oh my goodness, we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be a King of Pentacles coming in. You could be the King of Pentacles, pile number two. Like you're teaching people how to make money. You're teaching people how to build wealth, uh, how to build their empire, their legacy, okay? You could be in the business of giving people advice, okay? Contracting, independent contracting, but you're very stable in whatever you do, okay? You have built something that will stand the test of time or you're currently in the process of building something that is going to last forever tell me more spirit one more card one more card for our pile number twos look we have the four of swords in reverse again okay you're taking action now you're taking action you're no longer in a meditative state like like whatever it is that's coming in all your thoughts you're making them happen pile number twos okay crazy we have the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck if you all were interested in <laughs> look look at how funny this is too so this is the king of pentacles and this is the queen of pentacles if you all were interested in pile number ones go check that out i think there might be a message there for you 
Okay. Tell me more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to our pile number twos. What do you want our pile number twos to know, Spirit? Clear, concise, accurate messages in regards to what do you want our pile number twos to know? What's coming in for our pile number twos in regards to their love life and career? Thank you. We have the energy is gaining momentum. Okay, waxing moon. Oh my goodness. Expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Tell me more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number two in regards to their love life and career. Thank you. Oh my gosh. We have you and your loved ones are safe. New moon in cancer. One more card, spirit. One more card. One more card. Okay, one more card. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number twos. Your commitment is being tested. Yeah, I knew it. Ooh, okay. So we have emotions are running high, super moon. Uh, I don't know if I stated this to you, pile number twos, but while I'm reading, while I'm doing this reading, excuse me, I'm doing it at night and it is a waxing gibbous moon in the sign of cancer. So with this bottom card, emotions are running high i feel like emotions are definitely running high at the time this reading is being filmed you could be feeling and i feel like even though like it might not be the same like moon cycle when you're watching this you might can feel the energy emanating from this reading so i just wanted to let you all know we have a lot of cancerian energy too so we have you and your loved ones are safe new moon and cancer that's a clarification but in any regards this your commitment is being uh tested first quarter moon your commitment is being tested it's almost like spirit is like look you can have everything that you've been asking for but it's gonna come in when it's supposed to come in i'm getting like divine timing is at play here but it's almost here okay this new beginning this powerful change is coming in for you with this new moon eclipse card this is the most auspicious card in this moonology deck so it's a really like it's a really blessed card to even have in your reading pile number twos and i feel like your love life is about to take flight like the energy is gaining momentum like the love of your life, your soulmate, or someone you could be highly interested in and maybe even get married to um, could be coming in sooner than you, you think. So, you know, don't settle. That's what I'm getting with this commitment is being tested card here, okay? So tell me more, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Last messages for our pile number twos in regards to advice. For their love life and career last messages for pile number twos in regard to advice for their love life and career spirit okay so we have i honor virtue okay we have i only consume my fair share interesting tell me more spirit clear concise accurate messages in regards to pile number two's love life and career what advice do you want to give to pile number twos in regards to their love life and career so we have i advance through my own abilities that's beautiful okay so we're only gonna pick those three so we have i can be trusted oh my gosh please go check out pile number ones because i think this is a continuation from pile number one you don't have to but you know if you feel like it i think you will find some messages there as well my pile number twos so we have i honor virtue i consume only my fair share and i advance through my own abilities you know what it what it is that i'm getting with this pile number twos in regards to your love life and your career you're advancing through what you've already set into practice in regards to your manifestations okay this could be a lot of heart chakra healing or something that you did because this person has like this green heart necklace on okay you could like use the green heart emoji a lot or you could it's like yeah you're healing your heart you're healing your heart because look oh my gosh okay so i know there's a lot of green in this deck but like this is too much so we have a green hand here with i can be trusted we have i honor virtue they're green this person or this you know 
this yeah this depiction of this person in this picture we have a green moon goddess here and then we have this green heart so whatever it is that you're going through i feel like you're gonna get through it because you have i feel like you have healed enough to know how to do something if that makes sense you've healed enough to know how to be tr to trust yourself and to know that you can trust yourself in your own healing okay especially when it comes to matters of the heart i'm getting relationships emotional healing you can be trusted in that healing process whenever you're feeling down or blue or emotionally kind of like ups up and down that's what i'm getting and this could be in regards to how you're calling in your soulmate or how you're calling in um uh you know a lover or something like that and this could be also tied into your career i'm getting like you're able to stabilize your emotions because you've healed that heart it's almost like you your heart is in its rightful place i don't know why i'm getting that but yeah i only consume my fair share too that's like giving and receiving like okay yeah i only consume my fair share and i make sure that i leave with others what they need and i because I already have what I need. I have a feeling like you're very filled up. Your cup runneth over. So when your cup runneth over, that allows you to um, also give back to others, okay? So with that being said, my pile number two is amazing reading. Like I said, if you all were drawn to pile number one, definitely go check that out for five or 10 minutes. You don't have to, but it's, you know, suggested or a little recommendation. I love you all so much, pile number twos. If you like this reading, if you enjoyed it, if it, you know, even gave you a little bit of entertainment, please give this reading a big thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe, share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone else who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. Again, my pile number twos, I love you so much, and I will see you in your next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number threes, welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this beautiful Labradorite crystal, which I had intentionally got to sell on my online Etsy store that's under construction, and I'll let you all know about it soon. But in regards to your love life and your career and what's coming in regards to that, I would say that it's almost like double double sorted or like you know how like the sword suite they're considered to be double edged so like that's what i'm getting like you're not gonna get one without the other right so in regards to your love life i'm getting a lot of abundance a lot of pros prosperity but i'm seeing like you're not gonna see it until like your career starts flowing almost you know um I'm getting, there's going to be a lot of fluidity in your career coming in. However, it's almost like you're not going to anticipate the flow um, of traction, whether it be in your business, whether it be in your profession, if you work for a corporation, or uh, you could just be delving into a lot of creative projects right now, okay? So we're gonna put your stone right here. Let's uncover your card. Mm, okay, we have card number 44, Thinker. Okay, so in regards to your love life and your career, pile number threes, you have been thinking about this heavily and you have been sitting, setting clear, direct intentions, right? I'm also getting like, there's a sculptor or there's like a prolific sculptor in history and they have sculpted this I guess this image called the thinking man but this is like the thinking ballerina and I feel as if you have a lot on your mind and you have a lot of questions in regard to your love life and your career and where is it all headed where is it all going but I truly feel pile number threes that you're going to be getting the answers to your question uh, revealed very soon. You can also be seeing the number 44 or 444 a lot lately, which is kind of a signifier of your angels, ancestors, and guides being with you, okay? So trust in your path. All is working well and all is working for your highest and best good and all is well overall, okay? Oh, also what I was getting with pile number three, you may have been attracted to pile number one as well. If you were, definitely go, go check out that reading for 
five or 10 minutes, you definitely don't have to, but if you feel compelled to, I would recommend that because I think you could be gifted with some answers to your questions there as well in regards to your love life and your career, okay? So let's hop into your reading pile number threes. We have at the bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune. Again, like I was saying with this Labradorite crystal, how it's double pointed, it's almost like, it's almost like cyclic, right? What goes up must come down. And it's almost like, I don't know why I'm getting the truth is a double edged sword because like when you speak your truth or when you speak a truth, that might not be someone else's truth, right? So it could either hurt or harm. And I say that because with the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune is all about cycles, right? When you're up, feel blessed, feel thankful, feel grateful for the times that you're up and really revel in that time because what goes up is inevitably going to come down and vice versa, okay? Life goes in cycles. And so really um, hone into that. But what I'm getting with this Wheel of Fortune in particular, pile number threes, is that you all are about to experience a lot of beauty in your life, a lot of joy, a lot of wealth, a lot of health, a lot of prosperity, and a lot of good times to come, especially with this card being in the upright position. Now, because the Wheel of Fortune is the 10th card and we have X here, you could be seeing a lot of Xs. You could be getting signs and synchronicities about X marking the spot, or like you're being led to something, almost like a treasure, okay? So let's put this here. All right, so let's read out your cards. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. We have the King of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands with oppression. We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Princess of Swords. We have the King of Cups in reverse. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse with swiftness. We have the Prince of Swords. And then we have the Nine of Wands with strength in reverse so pile number threes let's start in the center of your reading we have the ten of wands with oppression upright and then we have the eight of wands with swiftness you want to know something funny i have a feeling someone is coming into your life very swiftly ironically especially with this king of swords charging towards this uh towards this woman who's carrying these like logs or something on her head almost like in the wilderness or in the barren desert underneath a starry sky. It's almost like this lady is doing so, or this figure is doing so with bliss. And because of that, there is this action happening, okay? There is this objectivity that's going on in these two cards, but it's coming in very quickly, okay? This clearness, this sharpness, this knowing what you want and getting it by any means necessary, okay? This could be a person too, this King of Swords. This could either be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius, okay? Any of those, um, any of those, any of those swords, uh, excuse me, uh, any of those air signs. So what I was getting to in the center of your readings, pile number three, was look at how this, these depictions are mirroring themselves, right? So we have the 10 of wands with oppression at the top, and then we have the eight of wands with swiftness, literally mirroring them. And what I'm getting is the 444 you've been seeing, if you have been seeing, or any angel numbers you've been seeing, um, if you've been seeing them at all, your angels, ancestors, or and guides are here to protect you, okay? Because you're doing your due diligence. It's almost as if you actually don't feel oppressed right now because you have this clarity and this forthright into going into what it is that you want. There's a very distinctness in your manner and a very getting things done by any means necessary. And you're being swiftly protected and regarded by the higher realms while you you know while you continue to move forth in this process pile number threes all right so let's hop to the beginning of the reading with the ace of pentacles and the king of cups in reverse and really what i'm getting with these reversals is pay close attention to these cards right so with the Ace of Pentacles and the King of Cups in reverse, I have a feeling that, okay, 
there's kind of two storylines going on here. So with the King of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, I have a feeling that there could have been a water sign in your life, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, that really wanted to offer you either a new beginning or something very tangible, right? So they could have wanted to offer you a relationship or they could have wanted to offer you, you know, something that seemed concrete at the moment and maybe they didn't, you know, maybe they really thought about it and they didn't know if you would be receptive to that, okay? But the other, on the flip side, the other storyline is what I'm getting is pay close attention to your emotions right now and pay close attention to your uh, emotional intelligence because they're directly tied to your finances, pile number three, okay? So as long as you're emotionally astute and as long as you're emotionally grounded as this King of Cups is, then your finances are going to be bountiful and plentiful. You might even experience windfalls of abundance. But if they are in the opposite, if you're flighty, if you're if you're anxiety ridden, or if you seem to be kind of like um, oh, what, a little shaky in your emotions or your demeanor, then you could see that translate into your finances, whether that be emotional spending or whether that just be energetic wise, because we have to remember that money is energy, right? The, the money we carry in our pocket, that physical note it's just fiat currency. Even what we see on a freaking phone, as in what, what what's our balance, right? On our account, it's just, it's digits, you know? But I would say nowadays, digits, things that are digitized is more, hmm, a direct reflection of what we could be feeling because that energy is literally transmuted through that phone, right? At, at any given time. But I digress, I went on a tangent there, but like I was saying, it could be one of two storylines. It could either be a person from the past or, you know, currently that's really not on your radar right now, has been thinking about coming in and bringing in something tangible, something like an offer. And if that's not the case, definitely pay, pay close attention to your emotions right now. Be very grounded in your emotions because they will directly tie into your finances at this moment. Also, uh, pile number threes, Today is actually the, we have a moon in Cancer right now, so you could be feeling very emotional, maybe even a little emotionally topsy-turvy right now, and you aren't sure as to why. Granted, this is a timeless reading, so whenever you come across this reading, the, re uh, the messages should still resonate. However, you know, sometimes the energy emanates through the readings, especially when it comes to the moon cycles, so you could be feeling that in this reading, okay? So let's continue. We have the Four of Pentacles with power in reverse, and then we have the Prince of Swords. Interesting. We have the King of Swords and the Prince of Swords, and we have the Princess of Swords. There's a lot of thinking. There is literally a lot of overthinking, okay, and uh, assessment about your situation when it comes to love and your finances right now, pile number threes, which is, that's so funny. I'm just noticing this, all this sword energy, right? You could be a Libra. Uh, Gemini Aquarius or have a lot of Libra Gemini Aquarius highly aspected in your chart but you know what this is beautiful because there's a progression going on here we literally have the princess of swords which is the page of swords we have the prince of swords which is the knight of swords and we have the king of swords you're literally leveling up it's almost like you skipped a level because we don't have the queen of swords right here so it's like you you hopped it's like something's a hop, skip, and a jump away. I don't know why I'm getting that, but you jumped. It's like a quantum leap or something that happened here because I feel like you've been putting in the work and your angels, ancestors, and guides have been very protective over you and will remain protective over you as long as you continue to uphold your part of the bargain. Um, yeah, in regards to whatever it is that you've been wanting to manifest, in regards to your love life and your finances, but I have a feeling these are uh, coming into balance very soon if they aren't already, okay? So with the four of pentacles uh, with power here in reverse, and then we have the prince of swords at the bottom, it's like like I was saying earlier, you could have been feeling a little topsy-turvy, right? You could have been feeling like you've lost your power in certain scenarios, or maybe you've acted hastily when it comes to your finances, emotional spending, right? 
But what I'm getting here, pile number threes, is that it's okay, especially with the sword suite, because the beauty of the sword suit is that it's our thoughts, right? So when we change our thoughts, when we're able to shift our thoughts into what we would prefer them to be, then it literally shifts our perception of everything. And, and with that being said, it shifts our reality. So continue to guard the gates of your thoughts at all times, whatever you have to do. If you have to take up meditative practices in the morning or uh, deep breathing exercises, I know there's a lot on YouTube. So you all can just uh, kind of search for those. Uh, or just saying a mantra in your head constantly when you aren't talking, you know, when you're, you're silent, you know, that has helped for me. So in regards to that, I think you will be finding your equilibrium soon, even if you feel like you've been rushing into things or felt like you've had to rush into things and maybe you've been acting a little hastily, okay? Because the Prince of Swords or the Knight of Swords signifies kind of charging into something a little prematurely and not paying attention to where you're going and you could be stepping on other people's toes, okay? So just be weary of that uh, dynamic within you right now. Alrighty, okay, so then the last cards we have here is a princess of swords and the nine of wands with strength in reverse so i'm getting hmm it's interesting i'm getting with the page of swords there could be like a swiftness in your energy there could be like you know mental dexterity when it comes to how you maneuver in your thought process you could be very on the ball or just quick to assess a situation very quick to spot something um in regards to how your mind works how your how others minds are working right now and also what i'm getting is it i'm getting this is the aspect of you and you could have your eyes on a maybe a earth sign because we do have a lot of earth energy here um a capricorn a, a virgo or a taurus okay but what i'm getting is what I'm getting is there's a lot of inner resilience in the way your mind is working right now because you're operating from a state of innocence and childlike grandeur. I don't know why I've been getting the term childlike grandeur coming out in my readings a lot, but I have a feeling that that is very important, especially when we ask God, when we ask spirit, and we ask source energy for answer answers to our question because when we come humbly to source when we come humbly to god when we come humbly to the most high they're always going to answer us quickly and efficiently because we're we're leaving the ego at the door right so in regards to that pile number threes i have a feeling you've been doing a job well done and although you i don't think you're even giving yourself enough credit for the type of inner resilience that you have in life you know for the type of inner resilience that your vessel has a capacity to hold because i feel like it's a lot right you've been you could have been through a lot in life but i have a feeling that that inner child that's what i'm getting i think that's why i'm getting childlike grandeur a lot a lot of inner child stuff is coming out in my reading that inner child is healed and it's being healed and this is why you're so sharp right now and so like attuned because you're in alignment pile number threes so when it comes to your love life and uh your career it's on path but it it you're directly on path and on course but it's interesting because I have a feeling it's just tied to your career and your love life are very well melded together. So it's almost like, think about it like this. Maybe at one point in your life, you almost thought, I can't have both. But I feel like through this reading, just through this spread, you're understanding, yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. That was a, a preconceived you know notion that i was like planning in my head okay and you're very wise you've accumulated a lot of wisdom i'm just now realizing we have one two three king cards here we have no queen cards here so I, it's literally been a quantum leap to this wisdom oh my goodness 
wisdom of the mind, wisdom of the pocket, wisdom of your emotions. Your intelligence in all these sectors are very spot on. The only sector we don't have is a king of wands, which is interesting. Okay, but we do have a lot of wands energy here. Let's pull some more cards, pile number threes, to get you more descriptions and get you more insight on your love life and what's coming in for your career and your finances. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What else do you want pile number threes to know in regards to their career and finances? I mean, excuse me, in regards to their love life in their career spirit clear concise accurate messages for our pile number threes thank you thank you thank you Ooh, okay so look that's interesting so we have the three well this is card number three with recognition and reward and this is technically i want to say the three of want this might be the three of pentacles in this um deck but again this is what's coming in for you, recognition and reward. You could be working with a lot of people right now and maybe they could be like giving you your accolades early or seeing how much you're putting into a project and like they want to reward you with, um, I don't know, like a congratulations or like they want to reward you with recognition and they want to reward you with um, just a job well done, right? Interestingly enough, we have card number six, Harmony, which is a lover's card in this deck, and it's in reverse. So I have a feeling like, let me pull one more, let me pull some more cards, because I want more description on this lover's card in reverse. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Tell me more. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. Clear, concise, accurate messages. <laughs> I knew it. Oh my God. Okay, so we have card number four, Heart Chakra. I was just about to say that. That's trippy. Always trust in your intuition, y'all. So we have card number six, Harmony in Reverse, and then we have card number four, Heart Chakra. Literally, I was about to say, there's a lot of Heart Chakra healing happening, okay? There's been a lot going on. I don't know if you can see in this depiction, this masculine energy's heart is uh, like kind of like uh, emanating green like this green aura right and uh, we have the heart chakra um, card right here so there's a lot of healing taking place you have been healed and I have a feeling what you don't see coming pile number three is this equilibrium is this equanimity being brought back into your life and into your existence okay you could be meeting a Gemini you don't have to be but you could be meeting a Gemini but I'm feeling like you don't even you're not even aware of how much you've healed okay there could still be some healing left okay of course we're human beings so we're always going to be facilitating ourselves with healing and inundating ourselves with healing and compassion and you know all those beautiful things but what i'm getting for you pile number threes is that there is something that you haven't been acknowledging in yourself. This could be you wanting to open up your heart more, you wanting to find that relationship, you wanting to find that connection with another person, and maybe you haven't really been honest with yourself, and maybe that's what you've been thinking about. This is what you've been almost like assessing, like, what is it that I want, you know? What is it that I want in love? What is it that I want truly out of my career you know there's a lot of questions definitely go check out pile number ones because i i have a feeling you know you all will resonate with some of the things some of the messages that were said in pile number ones okay pile number threes okay one more card spirit clear concise accurate messages one more card out of this deck okay look heartache and loss oh my god in reverse oh my goodness i said that damn <laughs> so we have card number three with heartache and loss this is technically the three of swords it's in reverse exactly you've been healing yourself and you've been through a lot of healing um i feel like and i i will speak personally for myself but i know this is a theme that's been coming up because i don't know i've just been paying attention to a lot of things people places you know circumstances but 2021 
I have a feeling you did a lot of heart healing 2021. It was almost like a lot of people were under this isolation so that they could heal, even if it wasn't their choice, even if they felt weird in the isolation, even if they felt like, what is going on? What am I doing? Why is no one around? You know, it was all premeditated. It was all a premeditated and ordained from God, from spirit, from source energy, your higher self, whatever it is that you believe in, so you can heal, so you can really have been deeply entrenched in the healing process, okay, pile number threes? Look, we have the waiting game, uh, card number two in reverse. So this is like the two of wands, I believe. The wait is over, the wait is over. Your boo, your lover, your um, soulmate connection is coming in. You don't see this coming. I have a feeling you could be feeling very emotional, maybe even a little like sad, you know, maybe even a little sad or something like that because you feel what's coming in. I don't even think you can articulate it. And you know what? I feel like sad is the wrong word, pile number threes. I want to say you don't really have a clear indication of why it is you feel the way you feel, right? That's what I'm getting. You really don't have a clear indication of why it is you feel the way you feel. And it's not so much a sadness, but like a a void, you know what I'm saying? Like this void that you're trying to figure out, like, what is this? <laughs> like, why is this, what, I don't get it, right? So also something that I wanna point out, which is interesting, we have a lot of green here. Look at that green heart chakra card and look at the green alligator that's at the bottom of the wheel of the wheel of fortune. That's no coincidence, come on, come on. Like you've done a lot of heart healing work, you're ready. You're ready. If, if that's your question, pile number threes, if you're wondering, am I ready to step out? Am I ready to, you know, maybe put myself out there again to open myself up to another? You are. You are. I promise you. Okay, so let's pull some more cards. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. Clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number threes. What else, spirit? What else do you want them to know in regards to their love life and their career? Thank you. Whew, King of Pentacles again, yeah. And I feel like you've been focusing a lot on work. King of Cups again? What the heck? Hold on. Tell me more, spirit. Thank you, God. Thank you, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages for pile number threes in regards to their love life and careers. Okay, I'm going to just take all these cards. I'm going to just take them because how they fell out was too succinct. Okay, so give me a second. Let me position these here. <clears throat> yeah, whoa. <laughs> okay, so pile number threes, let's get these in order. You have the king of pentacles, the king of chalices, which is the king of cups. You have the two of swords. You have the death card. You have the six of pentacles and you have judgment in reverse. But what did I say? X marks the spot. We have two X's in this judgment card. Ooh, you could be seeing 10, 10 a lot lately. Okay. And we have three X's. So it's like, I don't even, that's trippy. Okay. So anyways, you have like mastered emotional equilibrium and an emotional depth that a lot of people won't be able to, or there is going to be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, water sign, or a earth sign, a Capricorn, Taurus, what's the other one, Virgo, coming in for you, male or female, they're gonna be very emotionally mature. They're gonna be mature, okay? This could be in age, this could be in mindset, I'm really getting mindset. They're going to be the, if this is a person coming in, this king of pentacles is going to be very grounded. They could be very wealthy. They could have their own businesses or uh, whatever. They're just very grounded in reality. And then the king of chalices, they're very emotionally adept. Like they, they have a very high emotional IQ and a high understanding of how to, acquiesce with emotions 
with whether within themselves or the people around them as you can see like they're like a kindergarten teacher like that's super sweet so in reg but if this is a flip side and these are aspects of you like if that wasn't resonating with you with those two people being the description if these are aspects of you pile number three you have completely mastered or will be completely mastering this physical reality so your material plane of existence you'll never you're building something you're cultivating a legacy here that's going to stand the test of time you could be a financial advisor too because this person who is depicted as a king of pentacle is giving this couple advice and they could be given this he could be, they could be giving this couple advice in regards to their finances okay or something material career advice you know you could be a career counselor or whatever um also this king of chalices if this is a reflection of of you know yourself you could just be uh very intuitive right very understanding grounded person uh in the in the by way of your emotions okay so again, more grounding, more meditation. What did I say earlier, pile number threes? We have the two of swords here. Meditate, start meditating and um, already assuming that the answer to your, that the question to your answered has been received, okay? Because when you do that, when you continue to kind of like self-assess, that's gonna help you traverse anything that you may, um, you may see as like an obstacle or something, okay? So um, when we, ha we have the death card here for sale, you're just transforming, pile number threes. You're transforming. You're becoming this deep philosophical thinker. If you have, prob you probably have already been that, but I'm getting there's more groundedness in your thinking. There's more action in your thinking. You're not just sitting down thinking in one place. Now you are almost like it's applied wisdom, right? You're applying your thoughts and the answers that you're getting from, you know, using that noggin, right? You are applying it and you're deeply transforming in the process, okay? And be and I and I also want to say because you have been that deep thinker either now or in the past and it's continuing throughout your life, man, you, I mean, like everyone, <laughs> you're transforming beyond measure like it's almost like you're becoming this brand new person, okay? With the six of pentacles here and the judgment in reverse, you're being inundated with abundance, like I said, because there's this groundedness coming into your reality, whether that be financial, whether that be in your career, whether that be in your emotions. Like I always say, I always tell this to my friends, just, I, I, I love this author, their name is, uh, Neville Goddard, right? They're a thought leader from like, I wanna say like maybe the 20s through the 50s. And they have this book and this kind of like this ideology that's called the feeling is the secret. So when we're, our emotions are stable and when we work on uh, grounding ourselves emotionally, literally when we are able to feel joyful and happy, not all the time because we're humans, but the majority of the times, we are in prime conditioning for flow state. You know what flow state means? It's basically like when you're in this fluid motion of mind, heart, and I guess mind, heart, spirit, or mind, heart, body, that trifecta, it's like a portal so that your manifestations can come through with ease because you're not you're not resisting anything, right? You're letting things come through you and flow through you organically. So in regards to that, this is what I'm saying. Like you're being inundated with abundance right now because you have this fluidity. You're you're seeking refuge in God and spirit and source energy in your angels, ancestors and guides. You are praying at the altar. Okay, when I'm you see what I'm saying? You're humbling yourself. You know, you're giving reverence to whatever it is that you believe in. That could be karma, that could be, you know, um, like I said, God, spirit, source, energy, the most high, you name it. But whatever it is, you're always paying reverence. You're always paying it forward and you're always giving, you know, it back as much as you can and in, in, in the capacity in which you can, pile number three. So amazing freaking energy, pile number threes. Per usual, I don't, you know, I'm not shocked because you always have amazing energy, pile number threes. Okay, tell me more, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages. What else? Ooh, 
okay so we have a new start is coming new moon this is the most auspicious card in this deck i love getting this whenever i'm doing personal readings or whatever i'm doing readings for myself and when i'm reading for you all this is the most auspicious card in this deck again we even have the ace of pentacles here and we have all these kings surrounding it so there's a there's a new beginning uh that's about to transform you from the inside out pile number threes and on top of that you're coming in so grounded within yourself wow like this new beginning you're gonna knock it out the park okay whether this be a relationship coming in and your finances i'm getting both will be coming in simultaneously tell me more spirit what else okay look i'm gonna just take these cards the energy is gaining momentum waxing moon we have adjustments are required third quarter moon and we have work through your fears new moon in scorpio period pile number three is what's at the bottom of the deck we have it's time to release negativity listen i feel like okay so this is what i'm getting and i'm gonna wrap up you all's reading soon because this is pretty long a lot of purple here pile number uh threes so we have a lot of healing taking place basically whenever we get the nine of wands strength card in reverse the nine of wands stands for the wounded warrior right so with that being said when it's in reverse it it translates into healing okay the healing process so i knew off bat that you have been it's almost like you've been forged through the fire like your resilience has been built off of experience and the things that you've been through now what i would suggest is literally by meditating you will be working through your fears by meditating by always consulting god before you make any before you make any you know decisions or whatever you do right you're going to be releasing negativity and just ask right ask god for the wisdom the courage and the strength to release the negativity in your life or the negativity that has been bottled up within you because the body keeps score you know uh they say trauma is stored in the body that's why it's really good to exercise right so you could find yourself you know, cultivating an exercise routine that really helps to traverse how you think and the way you think uh, in regards to yourself and the people around you, okay? Because with that being said, there's this beautiful opportunity coming in for you by the way of your love life pile number threes and your finances, you know, just continue to be in the receiving mode. I know you have a lot of thoughts and questions about this, but they will soon be answered, okay? You just have to allow those answers in. You probably have already received some, but maybe you've just been kind of like contemplating a little too much to where maybe you've been negating the answers, okay? Tell me more, Spirit. Last messages. Last messages, God, for our pile number threes. Last messages you want our pile number threes to know in regards to their love life and career. Look, I'm, oh, wow. I'm going to just take these three because they fell out simultaneously. So we have I do good. Yeah, you all are do-gooders. <laughs> pile number threes. I in, invoke laughter. So I have a feeling, like I've said this in one of my readings before, but like laugh at my pain. Like you all turn negatives into positives. And whether that's through comedy or, you know, you all see comic relief when you're feeling down. I could tell that, okay? And in essence, you're a more lighthearted person. You're a more like just easygoing person, right? And I'm trustful in all my relationships. Yeah, trust me, there is a telepathic connection. Like trust your intuition because it'll never lie to you, pile number threes. And trust me, whatever you're feeling, you're feeling it for a reason and like you're telepathically linked with the people you think about on a constant basis you and this person coming in this love interest could be telepathically like linked this came out in uh either one of the other piles or this came out in a, a prior reading too but what i'm getting is that continue to do good like Maya Angelou <laughs> had this like video, I think that Oprah or like 
something in relation to Oprah like filmed in regards to her. And she was just, I think she had mentioned like, how do you know when you're, you know, what what's the next best step to take or something? And then she was like, oh, I'm just reminded of like the church ladies and what they used to say to me. And it's just like, do good. Like, just do the next right thing. Like, you know what right is, just do the next right thing. So I have a feeling that's what your, that's like your mantra. That's like what you live by is just try to do good unto others as you would expect people to do to you, okay? So with the bottom of the deck here, I speak with good intent. A lot of goodness is coming into your life, okay? And speak it into existence, okay? Because that's how it all happens, okay? Whatever the mind can believe, I think it's the mind, whatever the mind can conceive, it can achieve, okay? So speak your life into existence and always speak and dwell on thoughts that are just pure and lovely, okay? So with that being said, my dreamy dreamers, I love you all so much, pile number threes. You all always have the best energy to read for, okay? And I, I'm very appreciative of you and the fact that you're here. If you like this reading, if it resonated with you, please give this reading a big thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. Share this content with loved ones, family, friends, or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today. This was a long one, y'all, but uh, in any regard, I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next reading. Bye. Hey, pile number fours. Welcome back to your reading. So you all chose this really pretty strawberry quartz. Okay, so in regards to your love life and in your career, what I'm seeing coming in for you is it's going to be a very bountiful time, period, pile number fours. You're going to be experiencing a newness. You could be uh, encountering a new beginning, some travel. And it's going to be very sweet, you know, almost like the essence of this stone, which is uh, the strawberry quartz, right? Um, this is a green stone. So again, a lot of abundance has been coming out through all the readings, but it's, what is it? It's the harvest time, okay? It's harvest season. We're literally entering uh, the astrological new year come, um, come airy season, okay? And it's right around the corner, so the harvest season is here continue to you know um almost like tie up loose ends because your blessings are here okay pile number fours so let's reveal your card what did i say card number 47 go the distance you're almost there babies you're almost there pile number four tie up loose ends because you're almost to the finish line so to speak okay i feel like there is no finish line in life unless we're you know kind of wrapping up our lives but you're almost to the finish line or to the finish line of the goal that you've set for yourself okay so let's hop right into your reading we have at the bottom of the deck the full card this is giving me aries energy and this is definitely giving me new beginnings new life okay travel abundance packing light okay uh going for it knowing that you'll be protected and guided in the process um taking that leap of faith right into your life okay into the unknown i kind of want to read this this fool's card because this deck, uh, the Sun and Moon Tarot by Vanessa Decourt, she incorporates Hebrew uh, letters and I love to read them because they just give me a better sense of, you know, just a better sense of the card and like her interpretation of it and I love it. So I'm going to read this to you guys. <clears throat> All right, so we have the fool linked with Uranus, associated with principles of courage, ecstasy without fear. Acting impulsively encourages us to take risk and to and to develop our female and male sides to reach wholeness. The tiger is the uh, or uh, what is it? Oriental symbol for fear. This card depicts Caduceus, the staff of Mercury, or Hermes and the Egyptian wand of vision. It represents intuition, health, well-being, and healing. The butterfly and the spiral symbolizes the transformational process. From caterpillar to butterfly, the self grows and evolves. The crocodile denotes creativity, vision, and strength. The sun and sea unite fire energy, the water feelings. The Hebrew character Aleph is the symbol of the ox and represents wholeness. Beautiful energy. 
pile number fours. What a way to, uh, you know, end off the pile selection, okay? So let's hop into your reading. We have the Three of Cups with Abundance. We have the Three of Pentacles with Works in Reverse. We have the Star card. We have the Princess of Cups. We have the King of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups with Sati Satiety. We have the... Um, magician we have the five of wands the ten of pentacles and the four of wands off bat we have one two three major arcanas including the card at the bottom of the deck okay so there's a lot of change a lot of stark change coming into your life and it will be i feel like it will be from here on out for at least an extended period of time especially with all these major arcanas showing up in your reading pile number four Again, we have at the center of the reading, the star card and the five of wands. I have a feeling if you are wishing for like concreteness and, and the alleviation of internal and external conflict, your wish is being granted. There is um, a lot of strategy that you have implemented in your in the manifestation process pile number fours and you are getting your wish granted right now okay again with this card the full card talking about healing and health and well-being you have healed a lot and because you have healed a lot you are healing the world around you my pile number fours such beautiful freaking energy my loves okay so in the beginning of the reading, we have the Three of Cups with Abundance and the Ten of Cups Satiety. You're about to be so emotionally fulfilled right now. It's not even funny. And you know what's interesting? This is a love life reading and career. We have the Ten of Cups with these two people like looking like they're in love. They're so full. Their cup is overflowing. And we even have these three group of feminine energies toasting to this br very large full moon in the back of them so i have a feeling your life in general whether it be your love life your career uh your relationships with your friends and family are about to go extremely well you're about to be extremely emotionally satisfied and and just grounded in your relationships and your emotions and i have a feeling it's going to be very abundant and very beautiful this is going to be a heightened time of celebration and just like like really making the most of life okay pile number fours so with the three of pentacles works in reverse and the magician like i have a feeling you've been thinking that you've been doing this all alone but you haven't your spiritual team has been right by your side okay you may have been doing this on the external alone or have been you know kind of like heavily relying on yourself as like a w one person show but your spiritual team god spirit source energy your angels ancestors and guides your higher self has always shown up for you whenever you needed them okay so always remember that and always know that especially when this bounty of abundance comes uh to you you know pay it forward give to you know if you have a church that you used to go to get pay tithes right or uh give back to your favorite tarot readers or something like that when this abundance comes into you to you know thanks for the guidance or something or you know pay it forward like let's say you're in the line of starbucks you know give someone you know pay for someone's um starbucks or something like that you know try to pay it forward as much as you can or whenever you feel is necessary you don't have to always pay it forward just through money or things of that nature you could pay it forward through prayer you could pay it forward through um just w well wishes is what i'm getting also okay so with this princess of cups in reverse which is a page of cups in reverse and this ten of pentacles wealth is almost like Oh, pile number four is there's going to be so much wealth and abundance you're cultivating. It's almost like you're not e you're not even paying attention. Like, I feel like you've been getting intuitive hits and download about in downloads, excuse me, about how much of prosperity is coming to you. But I don't even think you un you know the half of it. I don't even think I think God, spirit, source, energy, your angels, ancestors and guides are about to bless you tenfold. OK, and not just you, but someone else as well. This could be a lover in your life. This could be someone. This could be like literally I was getting this message in pile number three. This could be a simultaneous blessing of love of legacy and of like wealth and abundance. Like there's a lot of prosperity in this reading that's coming in for you, pile number 
fours. And look, with the King of Swords and the Four of Wands completion, it's almost like you'll never have to worry about money again. And someone's helping you with this. Someone's helping you with this, okay? This could come through someone else, this, this lump sum or this windfall of abundance, this this almost like this signifier that you're going to be so grounded in um your financials you won't have to worry about money on the material plane again you know i don't know if you're going to see a financial advisor or you're going to make sure that, like all your p's and q's or you know whatever uh dot or your i's cross or your t's but you're you're completing this cycle of like lack and you're coming into the cycle of prosperity of well-being of tranquility of really living more life and you're rushing towards that pile number fours okay this is a king of swords this is usually the depiction of the knight of swords but this is the king of swords rushing into that so they're rushing into this very consciously and very objectively and very sharp and intelligent and knowing exactly what it is that they're doing okay pile number fours and that's just beautiful energy throughout okay oh also the king of swords is a very business savvy business competent leader okay so you all could really your thoughts could be very highly aspected on business and competency that's what i'm getting okay tell me more spirit ah okay okay <laughs> listen we have triumph card number seven like you can't make this up pile number four we have card number 13 transformation yeah you're being reborn again you're the butterfly uh cracking through the chrysalis okay thank you thank you thank you Tell me more, spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours in regards to what's coming in for them for their love, life, and career. Look, what in the world? Pile number fours, I want to be you when I grow up. We have triumph and we have triumphant success. You can't make this up. You're very clear. You're very level-headed. You're getting everything that you want in life, okay? Because you've done the work. You've worked hard. You're almost there. Do not give up. Keep going. Because literally before you know it, everything's about to make manifest in your life and everything that you've been through is about to make sense okay one more card spirit one more card thank you thank you god one more card. yeah Ooh, card number five throw shocker yeah you could see yourself as like a thought leader you could in visual you could visualize yourself uh, giving speeches. I hate, I have a feeling with this throat chakra card, you're speaking your truth and that's what's actually allowing for all this success and abundance to flow in. And you could have, you know what I'm getting? The gift of gab, the gift of gab, particularly with this king of swords. And I'm thinking about Gemini's. Gemini's tend to have an extremely heightened talent when it comes to communication okay and i'm getting you're evoking that heightened talent also we have the ace of swords here we have the king of swords in this corner and then we have the throat chakra which is giving me swords energy thought communication and i just have a feeling this is all in alignment for you pile number fours bottom of the deck we have card number eight with power yeah you're because you're resilient you're a beast okay you're turning into beast mode okay you're not gonna let anything any circumstances uh get in your way of your dreams your goals your ambitions and god spirit source energy is fueling this for you and fueling it through you right okay so let's pull some more cards thank you god thank you spirit There could also be, I'm getting Cancer energy, I'm getting Scorpio energy, and at that bottom of the deck, I was getting Leo energy. Hyper Leo energy, especially with this going the distance card with this cheetah. I know Leos are lions, but you know, cheetah, lions, cats, fire energy nonetheless, okay? So, uh, oh my gosh, and we have a tiger here. We have a cheetah, a tiger, and a lion. Ooh, hold on. All three different decks. That's trippy. Hold on. I don't think you all can see this. Let me show you this because I will be remiss. 
Okay, so we have the tiger right here, like literally having this person's back that's about to take this leap of faith, right? And then what What did, we already read the message for the bottom of the deck and I forgot. I think it was like fear or something that the tiger represented and it says oriental culture, but I think that's kind of derogatory, but like, you know, Asian culture, let me see. We have, sorry y'all. Where's a tiger? Yeah, the tiger, the tiger is the oriental symbol of fear, for fear. So I'm getting, you're facing your fears. You're doing it anyway. You're feeling the fear and you're doing it anyway. Pile number fours, which is awesome. And it's like, you got this lion, you got this cheetah, and then you got the tiger. I mean, <laughs> excuse me, then you have the lion, the king of the jungle, right? So there's definitely a triumph and a mat maturation process going on here. All right, tell me more, spirit. Clear, concise, accurate messages. What else does our, does our power number fours need to know in regards to what's coming in for them for their love life and their career? Clear, concise, accurate messages. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Let's see. Oh, oh, hold on. Uh, I'll take them. We have a lot of cards right now. Hold on. Yep, Ace of Cups. Uh, look, there's going to be an outpouring of offers of love, of affection. I have a feeling you've cultivated self-love so thoroughly to the point where it's only a matter of time until you'll see the the fruition of this seeping through your external life pile number fours we have look we have the ace of chalices and the ace of pentacles they're tied together okay <laughs> we have temperance card yeah you're gonna be celebrating oh my goodness okay we have the four of pentacles we have the four of cups wow you've been dreaming about this pile number fours Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, so we have four, four, four right here with the four of wands. Definitely deep celebration. And then I'll put this in the center of the reading. We have the five of swords, but you're you're triumphant, okay? It's okay. Let them be mad. Let them be mad. They got the stank face on file number fours, but you earned it. So people can't really be mad at you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they could feel how they feel respectfully, but... You know, you've earned this, you're triumphant. People might be upset or like maybe not knowing how to feel. Not everyone's upset. Some people are, what is it called? They're not sore losers. You see how there's a sore loser on this side and then the other one who actually won second place. She like, I guess, <laughs> but you did this. You earned this. Don't let anybody take, you know, your shine or your victory or your feeling of success and triumph from you okay because you deserve it okay so look pile number four is we have four 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 what a divine synchronicity you all could be seeing four 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 a lot uh if you're attracted to pile number three definitely go check out that reading there could be messages there for you you don't have to but it's just uh it's a recommendation so we have the four of pentacles, the four of cups, and the four of wands. So literally stability, like I was suggesting, you're not going to have to worry about money. You know what I'm saying? Like that's going to be sorted out. Like God is your unwavering and your infinite supply, okay? And as long as you rest on that, you'll always be taken care of. You know, you, you understand that quote unquote man, woman, or person is a mere vessel through how you, and at times it doesn't even have to be like a direct vessel from a person but the, those are vessels by means in which you collect your um your abundance through okay yeah i feel like you've been making do with what you've had for a while and you've been dreaming about this you've been fantasizing about this for a very long time but i have a feeling you just feel so full you feel that capacity to the point where you're going to be turning certain offers away. You're going to be giving things away. I have a feeling philanthrop uh, philanthropy could be in your future, okay? And with the four of wands, you're celebrating with friends, family, loved ones, okay? 
this abundance could be coming in in the fall too around halloween time because we have these uh kind of like uh, the depictions of jack-o-lanterns and it seems like they're celebrating like the fall equinox or if that's it is it is it a such thing as a fall equinox i don't know but they're celebrating something this could be halloween this just could be like i don't know <laughs> but it's coming in 444 four, four. your angels ancestors and guides are here and they're making sure that you're filled with the utmost bounty pile number four is my lovely dreamy dreamers because you deserve it babies okay so let's pull some more cards Tell me more spirit, clear, concise, accurate messages for our pile number fours in regards to their love life. Ooh. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take these cards. Look, we have hold your vision, fixed moon. You're almost there. Continue to hold that vision tightly and securely. You know, not too tight, but just enough to where you can let all this beauty in that's coming in for you. It's here. Okay. Your hard work is paying off. New moon and Capricorn, period. Okay. Capricorn could be your north node. Um, or you could have Capricorn highly aspected in your chart, but always face, face your true north. So if you all don't know what your north node is, I would definitely go about the business of finding that out because it will help you. Oh, that's so funny. Oh my gosh. So we have south node here. Don't let your past hold you back. Definitely find out your north node for those of you who don't know it. For those of you you who do know it go about the business and living in those personality characteristics of that north node because that's what's going to benefit you in the long run particularly in your career and i'm getting um in your love life as well okay uh and your commitment is being tested yeah so hold that vision because it's almost like god spirit source energy your spiritual team is sending you like little testers like how bad do you want it do you still want this, you know? Not even how bad do you want it, but do you still want this, okay? So they could be, you know, throwing little pebbles in your in your um, machine, so to speak, or something to see if you're going to just, you know, roll it over or crunch through it or whether you're going to get a little, you know, tied up, so to speak, okay? So continue to persevere, my loves, Okay. Boom, bottom of the deck, a win-win outcome is forecast, full moon in Libra. You can't lose, baby. You can't. No matter what you do, you can't lose. This is for you, okay? Because you've already put in the work. You've already put in the effort. And now it's here. The scales are balancing out. You've already went through the chaos, okay? Now the scales are balancing out so you can experience the beauty in life, okay? Because that's why we're here on Earth, is to experience both, all right? Preferably one more than the other, which is the beauty. Thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Last messages for our pile number four, God. Thank you. Last messages for our pile number four, Spirit. What else? What are the last last messages of advice you would like them to know in regards to their love life and career? Thank you. Tell me more. Two more cards. Or one more card, excuse me. One more card for our pile number four advice okay i'm just these are kind of slippery so i'm gonna pick them like this boom wow awesome we have at the bottom of the deck i embrace the all exactly you're very in tune with god with spirit with your higher self with the all okay with the most high whatever you want to give to a name to something that is completely just you know, you can't give to a name. It's so powerful. You can't even really put words to describe the reverence that you feel for something that's omnipotent, right? So we have, I can be trusted. This has been a theme in, in these pile selections. I can be trusted. You can. It's almost like God is giving you the key to something. God's giving you the language, the whatever to something, messages. And because God feels like you can be trusted with this. So you know, don't disappoint. And I don't think you will because look, if God's spirit source energy understands that you can be trusted with it, you definitely can. But you have to continuously acknowledge that in yourself. Like, why would you second guess that you can be trusted with something if God is giving this to you? Obviously you can be, right? So we have, I am humble. Okay. Continue to be a humble servant. Continue to, uh, 
just do good and walk in the light, stay in the light, okay? Continue to pray, continue to give reverence to a higher power because that's what's always gonna bring you back into a centered state and realize you're literally one mere droplet of a huge ocean. And I communicate with passion, yeah. Oh, excuse me, I communicate with compassion, okay? Be very compassionate in everything that you do, in the way you walk, in the way you speak, in the way you carry yourself. Mm, always try to empathize and place yourselves in other people's shoes, okay? Maybe what they could be going through in a particular moment. Give grace, okay? Give grace in order to receive grace, all right? And with that being said, pile number fours, I love you so much, my dreamy dreamers. Always consistently pure, good, loving energy from you all. I, I, I'm thankful for it. You know, I have really high vibratory people on my channel and i'm so grateful for that uh with that being said i love you all so much pile number fours if you like this reading if it resonated with you please give this reading a big thumbs up like share and subscribe share this content with loved ones family friends or anyone who would best benefit from the messages provided here today again i love you all so much and until next time i'll see you in your next reading bye